today on NCAA 2K20. Three teams have a chance to get back on track. Kentucky tries to avoid an 0-3 conference start as they face first place Auburn. Trey Jones and Duke try to stifle a surging Syracuse Orange team at the Carrier Dome. And in prime time, Villanova and Seton Hall renew a decades-old rivalry as Jared Roden goes up against Javon Quinterly and a struggling Wildcats squad. Who will reign supreme when it's all said and done? NCAA 2K20 starts right now. NCAA 2K20 on GA Sports is brought to you by Derek's NCAA 2020-2021 rosters. These are the most authentic college basketball rosters ever produced, featuring true-to-life player faces, ratings, and tendencies, as well as fully customized teams, coaches, and lineups. Check out the Patreon featured in the description so you can get the roster when it drops, plus monthly updates. Come be a part of the most ambitious project in sports gaming by clicking the link in the description. Conference season rolls on. Auburn at 2-0 trying to maintain control of the SEC. Kentucky at 0-2 trying to just get themselves back into the conversation in the Southeastern Conference. And of course, the nation's second leading scorer, EJ Montgomery, looking to do some work here against Auburn. And that's a good way to start off here for the Wildcats. We have um, not a new addition, but we have a player coming back from injury. It's uh, Javon McCormick with the ball right now. He He's come back from injury, the point guard. Um, Speaking of injury updates, we have a less fortunate one to give you. We, we mentioned last episode that Villanova's Jeremiah Robinson Earl suffered an injury in Nova's loss to number one ranked Memphis. Well, we can confirm to you that... Uh, after MRIs, Robinson Earl has torn ligaments in his ankle, and he will be out at least for the rest of the regular season, if not longer. So uh, prayers out to him. Hopefully he will be better moving forward, and that's a big loss for Villanova. It's a huge loss for Nova. Maybe, Mc uh, maybe my guy McCormick should have been missing more games. Oh! No, he shouldn't have. No, he shouldn't have. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. And the sauce? Nope. Oh, oh wow, Nate Sestina. Sickening. No Montgomery. way that's a foul. Yeah, no, that probably wasn't a foul. Well, another guy that uh, that we know will be missing a little bit of time is Baylor's Macy Oteague. Uh, we know he's out. he's been out with a hip flexor, so uh, we know that he'll be missing a few games, but Baylor seems to be doing all right without him. They go on and clobber West Virginia by 24. Despite Jeez. Macy Oteague's injury. Remember Most when we called them the Clark. toilet bowl? <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> we put them no in the toilet, toilet bowl. bowl no more. Yeah, uh, they proved us wrong with that one. Clark and Okiki for Baylor both drop 18 in a big win over West Virginia. West Virginia is going in the exact wrong direction after a massive loss to Kansas and now a big loss to Baylor. Hmm. Don't like to see that for Press Virginia, but... Yep, Montgomery oh take gosh, it straight to the Jay. cup. <laughs> Last episode, we said, we said Trey Jones may be the presumptive player of the year, where he's the favorite in the clubhouse for player of the year. And uh, EJ Montgomery took a little bit of exception to that one. And so he he is showing out here against Auburn. Ho oh, ho! Wow, that's oh, a move. Yeah. That's a travel, but it's a move. <laughs> oh, and... Oh, I'm, no! I'm literally right there. Yep, and yep, it's stop. blocked. Wow. Oh, that's beautiful. Calipari. Who says the coach's son can't do the work? Montgomery <laughs> taking it straight to the cup. Yep, Montgomery oh, just the, put him on the, skates, EJ. Where did, where did my entire Woo! team just go there? Where did the entire team just go? Uh, they, they, all got, they all got their feet taken away from them by EJ <laughs> Montgomery. That's where they all went. I think they just were all following their man or running like a bunch of headless chickens <laughs> out on the court. All right, nobody's there. Quickly. Oh, <gasps> look at that. Emmanuel quickly. Two guys rotated, and he does that. How's your layup package, my friend? Oh, no. No. Yeah, Richard's not going to have any of that kind of stuff. Oh, and he goes up in the air and gets a steal. Please. Nope. What? Nope. 
That was forced. That one was This hella is forced. a defensive I mean, performance from Kentucky right now. From everyone right now. This is insane. <laughs> Block yeah, party true. central. My god. This good really Lord. is. Richard. No yes. Way. No way. Going into half. That's what we wanted to see. Timeout, timeout. Oh, timeout. Seriously? You would have been better to just take the shot right there. <laughs> Trust me. I have a plan. Timeout with less Not than a second left. Nope. Oh, See you later. No. Ladies and gentlemen, we have to break to you possibly the biggest story of the year. The Michigan State Spartans have won a basketball game. <laughs> hey! <laughs> they finally get it done. It only took them, what, nine tries? I damn near close to nine tries. My gosh, I think they're one in. Oh, my good lord. Um, one in, yeah, one in eight now, nine tries, yeah. Wow, wow, Michigan State beat Maryland 85-60. So not only did they finally win a game, but they won big. That's actually kind of crazy that that happened. Like, good, good for them, honestly. Really good for them. Well, I mean, they almost got it. They, apparently, they got really motivated by nearly getting it done in double OT last episode. <gasps> no way. <laughs> No way. Maxi, no pull way. up. Oh, I felt good about that one. Uh, who's, just sta who's just standing there? <laughs> he sees into the future. He sees into the future. He knew. He's always in the paint, and that one time he's standing not even there. <laughs> I'm, I'm, again, EJ heard both of us say that Trey Jones appears to be the locker room leader for, uh, for player of the year. And uh, Montgomery was like, all right, well, if you're going to disrespect me like that. <laughs> yep, Montgomery commands the double team. Fall away. Yes. That's, that's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that shot. Take both it teams, long, too. Both teams, like, randomly go from missing layups to making the most difficult shots. Yep, just some yeah, Just making Collier wants another bite at the cherry. Oh, wow. Let's go. <laughs> he wanted another bite at the cherry and he got it. Oh my oh, wow. gosh, he let loose with the nastiest shooting motion I've ever seen. <laughs> Auburn coming off wins over LSU and an overtime win over Mississippi State. Kentucky coming off losses to Tennessee. To Tennessee in week one and then Florida last week. Oh wow, you didn't fire that at him. Jeez. Yep, just get it. Just get it. Get it to the man we know can score. EJ Montgomery's had 18. The rest of the team is combined for 13. I mean he is dwarfing the, the rest of the team in scoring. That's what EJ Montgomery means to the team. Whether he's player of the year or not, I can't be positive. But if we were talking, if we had an MVP award. Is there any doubt that EJ Montgomery is the most valuable player in the country? I uh, no, without a doubt. Also, should have gotten a clean steal there. The game's lying saying it's not a steal. Montgomery taking him to the cup. EJ Montgomery. Game's I lying saying that. I not can't a steal. do the math in my head, but Montgomery's got 20 points. He may he may very well have just broken uh, the season high in points in a game. Coach ain't giving up yet. <laughs> Coach, Coach ain't giving up. There's 10 seconds. You're down by eight. Coach ain't giving up yet. Okay, all right. I would say I respect it, but now I have to edit this, so I, I don't respect <laughs> it. I, di I didn't call the timeout. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my good lord. All right, well. That's gonna be a good way to end this thing. You know what? I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the honorable thing and not score with EJ to try to seal that uh, that most points in a game uh, mark in this season. Either way, that's a huge win for Kentucky, and we I mean things just get better from here. Things just get better from here. Two more great games coming up. Welcome to the Carrier Dome. The Syracuse Orange going for 
Well, it would probably be the upset of the year, to be honest with you, if they are to beat undefeated Duke here. Duke trying to become just the third team in the country to 10 wins, following number one Memphis, who is now 12-0, and uh, and Texas Tech, who is now 10-2. and Or 10-1, and I'm sorry. 10-1, and one, yep. Uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, they they actually are just starting against Kansas. They're starting their their game against the Jayhawks. Oh God, <laughs> Vernon Carey just putting me away with that one. Oh, and, oh. uh oh, <laughs> Duke feels Whoa, nice. Oh no, Duke feels <laughs> oh, nice no. right now. Uh oh, uh oh. Well, Trey Jones, he probably just saw what EJ Montgomery did to a top ten team in Auburn, so he's looking to respond in kind uh once this once the stats were normalized by the way uh ej montgomery does jesus what the hell <laughs> it's like trey jones is moving in fast motion <laughs> <laughs> that was unreal <laughs> oh my god yeah so once stats were normalized by the way ej montgomery finishes that game with 47 points that is a new season high wait what i mean what to both that's that. awesome awesome for ej there i mean the man, the man literally did it all. He did it all for them last game. So He really did. Well, speaking of doing it all, Trey Jones is trying to do it all right now. He's got a quick seven. Duke out here sending messages, specifically to the number one ranked team in the country, the Memphis Tigers, who just picked up a win earlier over Gonzaga. Mm -hmm. Close game, though, 62-60. So when Memphis, upset that Memphis needed been. every minute of that game. Yeah, what an upset that would have been. Absolutely. No. Yes, wow. yes, yes, at the buzzer. Get it wow. within single digits, boys. Let's go. <laughs> oh, well, a couple games couple games have gone final here, but one that, that I really want to talk about. Florida State picks up their mm. second win in a row. They are now 2-1. and one. They beat Virginia 63-60. So in the ACC, which has so far been dominated by Duke, North Carolina is now 0-3, and, and uh, Florida State at 2-1 and might be uh, setting things up for themselves to maybe make a little tournament run. It's pretty much anyone's game at this point. Yeah, it really is. Outside of Duke, there are no favorites right now to grab that second spot in the ACC. Oh, yep, there we go. The shot Joseph Gerard. Yeah. No, no, why would you go to him? Oh, a foul on who? <laughs> the only man around. Oh, my God. The only man around. Headband. Oh, my God. Matthew headband hurt. And putting the hurt on Syracuse. <laughs> oh, my word. This, you are going to have to, you're going to have to tell me what team in the country beats this Duke team. Seriously. Not in time. Oh, not no, time. I was not too late. Time. Maybe Memphis. We'll see. Uh, oh man! You're shooting fifty percent and down by fifty. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing going on right now. Oh my God, Trey Jones, <laughs> carving them oh up. Oh my! Like a pumpkin the week before Halloween. <laughs> oh! Referee. Referee, oh official, God. official. I've never seen more of a foul than a man going through my body. <laughs> what? Oh wow, what a run! Quick 8-0 run for Syracuse! Through my body. My. I can't. God, this defense is stifling. On top of the offense being able to score basically at will. And me not being able to pass. No! Jeez, the, the guys are everywhere! Still got something out of it. Ah. Uh. Come on. Ooh. Oh, I thought, no. I thought, I, it looks like Trey Jones is not going to get 47 and match EJ with, the, oh my God. He heard you, he heard you, he said nah. <laughs> Even if he doesn't get 47, you didn't hear the rest of my sentence. Even if he doesn't get 47, this is still, this is still a performance to put everyone on notice mm -hmm. about the level of player that Trey Jones is. Put it up. That was horrendous. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't even believe he turned that into a shot. Trey Jones with the pull-up. you got to be kidding me right now with Trey Jones. He's going for that EJ mark right now. What does he have? What he does has, he have? He has 17. No. Back no, I see it happening. <laughs> oh, no. 
I can't let Trey Jones get this EJ mark. Inspired. At this point, I don't even care about the score line. Like, this is a 23-point game. I don't even care about that. I just care about Trey Jones not getting to EJ's mark. Oh, oh my God. Nice. No, no way. Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. This Duke team. Someone get on Trey Jones. Just don't. I don't care what defense oh. we're in. No. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Trey Jones. You can't make this shit up. Get the board too. Gets his own. Gets the board. Can he do it again? And he gets fouled. Yes. <laughs> oh, he's going to the line. <laughs> EJ drops 47 most points in a game this season. Trey Jones comes back. Says, I'll see your 47. I'll drop 50. Oh, my God. This is the third week of conference, by the way. I mean, you think this is fun. You can't even make that. What? <laughs> All right. Sadibe just straight up elbowing some dude out of the way. <laughs> you know what, Baruma? Whatever you got to do to make a shot, bro. Just like what EJ did, I'm going to walk it out. I'm going to walk it out here. So. Oh, man. I can't even believe what we have just seen give him the ball back he deserves it ej has the performance of the year what who <laughs> game game literally end yourself <laughs> you 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 really didn't want to give this one to you didn't want to give it to trey you really didn't want to give it delete, to trey delete yourself off the off I'll take my heart I'll take the right extra now. point. That's cool with me. Right now. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, what a game. Unbelievable. 26 doubled up. I mean, let's uh, let's let's put this bluntly. I'm just looking for retribution after that. I'm just, I'm just I'm looking to not lose by by 60 after uh, the performance that we have just seen. From the number two team in the country, <laughs> and uh, and and we have to we have to address Trey Jones' stats once we normalized everything. I said going into the fourth quarter that it looked like Trey Jones was not going to pass the 47 points that EJ had already put up earlier, um, and instead, what Trey Jones does is end up with 57 points, shooting 21 of 28. So he ends up with 10 more points than EJ, shooting 10 fewer shots. I, I, like, I'm disgusted by this. I'm disgusted by this. And I am more than pleased by this. <laughs> um. I, was, I was saying, I was saying before we got into this game that I was thoroughly on the EJ Montgomery bandwagon, if, if any of you hadn't noticed. I was thoroughly with EJ Montgomery. But after looking at, at Trey Jones' numbers, look, that's goaltending ref! It's a foul already. Yeah, they gave me that. They gave me that. They gave me that. Oh, Thank no. You. <laughs> after looking at the numbers for Trey Jones, you're talking about a dude averaging 27.7 a game, averaging, what, eight assists, I think, or seven assists? First in the country in efficiency, first in the country in player efficiency. Mm -hmm. Like... I, 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 there's nothing you can say. Trey Jones is the best player in the country right now, and there's nothing right now. else that you can say. He's yeah, he's been unbelievable. That's for sure. No way Ooh. that goes in. Ooh, Ooh, the moves from Cosby Roundtree. What? Quietly in that absolute sixty-point dicking <laughs> down is the best way I can put that. <laughs> Quietly, Baruma Sidibe notched his second 2020 game of the year. Yeah, for good for him. The thing is, Syracuse didn't play bad. They just couldn't defend whatever Duke was doing. It that was... is absolutely true. Offensively, they were not bad at all. No, not at all. But we got a couple games still in action. Uh, one has just gone final. Texas Tech goes down. The Kansas That's Jayhawks. 59-42 is the final. And that was obviously a game between two teams that were 2-0 and in conference. I don't know why. Oh, come on! <laughs> we'll take it. We'll oh take it. Oh, my God. So that, that leaves Kansas at 3-0 in the Big 12. They are now uh, top 
in that conference, despite 10-2 and two, Texas Tech having played so well. Uh, mm -hmm. Number three coming into that game. So big win yes. there for the Jayhawks. Yeah, Villanova is still a very good team. I think 6-3, six 6-2. and, three, six and two. But, again, like you said, it's a tough non-Power 5 conference. So. Yep, absolutely. Villanova is 6-3. and three. And, obviously, in every other conference, that's good enough to put you in the top two. <laughs> and, and that's uh, good for In non-Power 5, they are fourth. Fourth, yep. <laughs> there you go. Jer Roden. Ooh. Roden stepping up in other ways. Please. Oh, you got please. no <laughs> way. <laughs> please. Please, it, the game's too easy right now. The game is too oh easy. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was hey, a little bit of breaking news here. North Carolina down by one with a minute to go against Louisville right now. So we will keep you updated on how that game goes. North Carolina looking to avoid their second straight loss, third straight loss, and going 0-3 in the ACC. That would be that would be crazy. This is a fairly low-scoring game. Well, compared to last game, anything's low-scoring, obviously. Oh, my. <laughs> Oh, wow. Now we're getting, now we're cooking a little bit. Uh, no. You know who else I feel for? I think you're going to know who else I feel for. We have an upset alert. Oh, no. It's North Carolina it. goes down off this shot by Louisville's Lamar Kimball. Score was 73. The score was 72-71. Lamar Kimball hits this shot as time expired. Louisville takes down the Tar Heels. Wow. North Carolina goes to 0 and 3 in conference, 5 and 4 overall for a team that both of us were so high on. Wow. Oh my god. And one of the best defensive teams in the country as well. Absolutely. Not, I mean they at one point they were only giving up like 40 points a game. And that, now yep. they're Yep. You know, now they're on a three-game losing skid, so. We, we are quickly finding out how difficult this ACC can be. And like we were talking about last game, with North Carolina having such issues, the conference seems wide open. Florida State's one of those teams that is trying to, is trying to you know, take advantage mm -hmm. of what's going on there. But, you know, I mean, you've got Virginia who's had some, who's chalked up some big wins throughout the season. How do I miss that? And then you get the steal. <laughs> this, uh. Yeah. Love to see it. I, I got no words for this. Just keep Roden off the ball. That's exactly what I didn't want to Oh happen. my That right gosh. there is the <laughs> one thing that I was trying to prevent. <laughs> oh my oh, god, Roden. Jared Roden. Roden, baby. Talk about an exclamation point on a massive win for Seton Hall on the road. Wow! Wow! Now looking, I mean, looking forward to the Pirates. I mean, at this point, at this point, what else? Looking forward oh, for selfish. the Pirates. They don't get Memphis. They don't get Memphis again until I believe their last conference game, the last game of the season. I believe is the is the next. Jesus! <laughs> this is ridiculous. Yeah, they don't get Memphis again until their last game of the season. So. uh... So Seton Hall still still lots of work to be done before they possibly uh, before well not possibly before they do take on the Tigers for what could possibly be uh, the uh, first place in the conference by that point of course so much can change but what what a win what a win what an emphatic win Seton Hall baby all all of all of the teams that we've seen today. Kentucky, Duke, Seton Hall, all picking up massive wins here in this episode of Conference Play. And of course, so much more to come, including some huge matchups next week with big rankings implications. So you, I know you don't want to miss it, so subscribe so you can see it. We appreciate it.